What's up gamers? I'm John, and this is my level up news where I bring you news every weekday. This is the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Microsoft has finally come out and said the four games that are going multi-platform. The games are Grounded, Pentiment, High Rush, and Sea of Thieves. Grounded and Pentiment will be for both PS4 and 5 and Nintendo Switch, while Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves will only be ported to the PlayStation 5. Let's see what this does for Xbox lovers on PlayStation and Nintendo. Comment down below if you're excited about the news. Borderlands has revealed the trailer for their upcoming movie. Some people are excited about it, while others are calling the movie a Kirkland signature of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. They said the trailer comes off as blah and untasteful, unlike the games when they come off so witty and funny. Let's see what the final version of the movie will be like. Jim Ryan is, if not, the biggest film in PlayStation. Next one, he will be stepping down as the president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. In a recent interview with Variety, he had this to say, I have seen the industry I love go under dramatic shifts. Amid the upheaval, I wouldn't change a moment of it. He said the pandemic era was when the PS5 launched and it was the greatest challenge of his 30 years of running the company, and it was also his greatest achievement. It was his job to make sure that everything ran smoothly while the world was falling apart during the pandemic. Thank you for everything you've done in the last 30 years, Jim Ryan. Helldiver 2 developers have let us know what engine they used to make the game. It was an old Swedish engine that was discontinued back in 2018. The old engine is called Autodesk Stingray. The last games to be made with the engine was Helldivers 2 and Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. The developers also said that the engineers had to do everything with no support from the original engine creators. Be that it's been such a great hit, the devs deserve their flowers. Taco has a great article on why you should choose graphics mode over performance mode in the latest update to the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo. With some changes and tweaks, they say they can have the best looking game and more. The demo of the game will most likely be performance mode when you start it up, and they say you should change it to graphics mode. They said this because performance mode really brings down the quality of the picture for higher frames per second. You can change it back and forth, but if you really want the full beauty of your PlayStation 5 running this game, you will have to go with graphics over performance, at least until the PC port comes out. Ghost of Tsushima was a masterpiece, a game loved for its storytelling, graphics, and mechanics. Sony has told everyone that 2024 will be a slim year for releases. There are small rumors here and there heard by Jeff Grubb that he claims that unannounced games from established IPs are still coming out this year, one of them being Ghost of Tsushima 2. Let's see if they get another masterpiece on the table for this year. The legend behind from software, Hidetaka Miyazaki, says that he is happy that everyone still loves Bloodborne. If there is one game that everybody has been asking for besides more Elden Ring, it's Bloodborne. The community has been begging for years for at least an updated version to have at least 60 FPS. Him telling us that he is happy that we love it can be a hint that it might be coming out in the future. Comment down below if you would love to see an updated or remake of Bloodborne. And finally, the biggest news of the day is the release trailer for Elden Ring Shadow of Eldry. The game looks amazing. In a short interview, we got to hear that there will be more than 10 new bosses. The game is set up on the, another island behind the Earth Tree, which is why it's called the Shadow of the Earth Tree. We know the expansion will be $40, and we can be expecting more than 50 hours of storytelling and exploration. The greatest thing that I have heard from the expansion is that some of the bosses will be tweaked like Millennia Thou, which if you don't know was the hardest boss in the original. The expansion will be released on June 21st, 2024. And with that bundle of gaming, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm -hmm.